Hi guys, it's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond, coming at you guys with Monday morning chit chat. It's Monday. It is the beginning of a new week. Who's pumped? Who's excited? Probably not those of y'all who snowed in, I can imagine. <laughs> and not even kind of me who's got to get out in this cold as well. Sorry for the folks who are snowed in. It is just like, I don't know what I would do. I don't know. I remember when it snowed and I had to catch my flight and I had to shovel myself out of that little bit of snow and to get out of my yard to be able to drive to the airport. It liked to kill me. So I can only imagine those who had all that had like, what, y'all have like two feet of snow? I can just imagine. Oh my God goodness shoveling that snow oh my god i don't know I, the way i i probably if it was that much i probably just sit there and just look at it out the window somebody had to come get me be like y'all better come get me <laughs> until this melt but i know that's the thing about living in the states where y'all get heavy snow like that is that y'all can't shut down y'all gotta keep going oh my goodness i just feel so sorry Look, even here, I mean, some things are shut down here with a little bit of ice and stuff like that. We'll shut it down. But it's still manageable when we can get out. But I just don't, when I'm looking, I'm like, I don't see no way I, would, I couldn't get out because I couldn't drive in that stuff. And definitely would be out of breath from shoveling that snow. But anyway, um, it's Monday, January the 25th. We are on 25 days of Fit to Love Me 100 Day Challenge. Almost 30 days, you guys. By the end of this week, it will be 30 days, a whole month, that we have exercise for 25 minutes continuous. We can look at this as a milestone. Woo woo. And only 60. No, we got more than 60. <laughs> at 30, we only have 70 more days to go. Only 70 more days to go. <laughs> woo. Anyway, just making some humor out of it so you can look at it in a positive light. Okay, because when you look at them numbers, you're like, oh my God. <laughs> but then, too, you know, this gives you a chance to not be lazy, not have setbacks. Because if you are in this challenge, you don't want to be a quitter. You don't want to drop out. You know, sometimes you have reasons, medical health issues that you cannot, just cannot. But, you know, you don't want to and you feel bad about it. So you keep striving to work out or do some kind of exercise or physical movement so that you can stay in the challenge. It keeps you motivated, keeps your body working, and, and it, it just is. Yeah, so it, uh, I think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing. Is it sure with me? Because I would fizzle out a many of mornings. Be like, because like this morning, I didn't want to get up. That alarm went off, and I'm like, oh, M G. I don't want to get up. So I hit the snooze and I laid there till six o'clock. I'm like, you gotta get up. As soon as I get up at 5 30. And I'm like, because that gives me time to work out, sit down, eat my breakfast, and just mellow out before it's time to hop in the shower and get out of the house. This morning I'm eating my boiled eggs and walking, not even giving my food time to digest. So yeah, so it's it, it, I, I like to go ahead and get up and get it out of the way and um just sit and relax for a while, but I couldn't do that this morning. And yeah, my weight loss, my weigh in was not that great this morning. It was a loss though. So as long as it's a loss, I'm okay. If I'm at a loss or don't gain anything, then I'm okay. I mean, I would rather have a bigger loss than what I had. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah, 
It means that something somewhere that I did during the week actually worked out okay. Now, I'm feeling like a little bloaty, bloaty feel. I've been feeling like that for the last two weeks. So, you know, I know it's time for my visit. I don't know what she's doing. If she wants to go ahead and leave me and never come back and visit again, will be fine for me. And sometimes I feel like my body's in that transition. And then when I get happy, she says, I'm knocking. She's knocking at the door. And I'm like, oh, I thought you were gone. They weren't ever coming back. Oh, so, and that's how I'm feeling this morning. So I'm hoping that I had actually lost a little bit more than that. But because of the bloatation, <laughs> that's a word, yeah, I think so. But because of the bloatation that I'm having, um, I um, I just think that that might got something to do with it. But I don't know. Who knows? We'll see next week what happens. If I can control the urge not to munch and eat. Yesterday, I just sat around and munch, 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 munch. Got up. This a little bit of housework. Sat back down. Much, 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 much. You know, it was just a continuous cycle of nothingness. And then I was like, because I was going to use my house cleaning as my active working out. And I'm like, nah, get on up and get on that treadmill. You know. So I did. I got on up and I walked on the treadmill for 25 minutes. Yeah. So. <coughs> Excuse me. And as far as couponing yesterday, I did not get out to do anything. Because um, I've done so much on Saturday. It's like, okay, it's time to slow it on down a bit. Because I've done good on Saturday. Even though I wanted to go back out Sunday, I didn't have my coupons. If I had my other PNGs that are coming in the mail to me, I probably would have went out yesterday as well and hit up my one CBS. <laughs> As well as the food line. The food line deal is it ended yesterday with the game being $3.99. So that was an awesome deal within itself right there. So yeah, so I hate it that I missed it. But I did. But I got it Saturday and I got like 18 bottles. But I want uh yeah, I want more. Gain, gain, gain. I want to shelf a game just for me. Personal use. I know some of y'all are like, Miss Nat, you got 18. That's enough for personal use. <laughs> oh, you know, it looks pretty. <laughs> Let me stop because if somebody come along and say, do you got game? I am not. <laughs> I am not faithful to anything. Now, I will tell you that extra I ain't washing no clothes with it. I wash my rugs and things like that with it. I, it seems like it don't do nothing to me. And it might. Some people might love it, but it don't seem like it do too much to me. So I do the rugs and stuff like that with that. But I will go between Game, Tide, Purex, All, and Oxy in a heartbeat. I haven't used Arm & Hammer in a long time because I haven't really couponed for it. Even though it's been on sale, I just haven't couponed for the Arm & Hammer, but I guess I would use that too. That's one thing I learned that as a couponer, you kind of, what well, I do, I don't know about everybody else, but I lose all ties. I ain't faithful to nothing. Whatever is on the shelf, I'll say, hmm, let me try this. Or let me try this. Yeah. So, that's just how it is. Um, yeah. I worked in my planner, done my weekly. I've done a video on that. So, y'all go back and watch that. Watch that video. Um, I think every week it gets a little bit better. For, for some reason, I'm still not getting that wow factor with it. I, I, I don't know. And y'all, I had to talk myself off of a ledge last night because I almost bought a big happy planner. I went back on there. Um, a manpy planner, I guess it is, me and my big ideas. 
I went on their website and those calendars are still marked down half price. They're like $12 or some change. And I almost bought another one because I said a bigger one I might do a better spread out there. And I'm like, that's more stickers, that's more supplies. I can't lug that big thing around. Why well, have to? So I, I talked myself down off the ledge. I said, I'm going to perfect this one here. And um, I'm going to find a way. Because, you know, I guess because those planners make it seem easy because they have the boxes and everything for you. And with the horizontal, you just got like a horizontal line. But with the vertical, it goes down and they have the boxes and it kind of makes it easier. But I'm like, Girl, get with it. Just show this planner it's not going to be you. And that's what I'm going to do. Because I don't think with the smaller planners there are any vertical layouts. And if there were, they would be so small that you really couldn't do a lot of planning. So I know that's probably why they do a horizontal like that. So, yeah. And some people use horizontal planners and love them. I mean, absolutely love them. Now, next year... I probably will invest in a vertical planner just to see if I like it. Just, you know, so I can get that out of my system. But for this year, I need to stick with what I got. And not like I spent a whole lot of money for the plan I got. I think it was like 6 or $7, I think. I think it was $7.96, $7.98 at Walmart. Yeah. Because the bigger one was... Maybe it was $6.98 and the bigger one was $7.98. I don't remember what it was. Or $8.98, $7.98, $8.98. I don't know. But they were in that range. It was under $10 for both of them. So, yeah. So, I might get me a um, a bigger one next year as well and try to see how things go with that one. And see which one I like best. I know I'm not going to like lugging that big one around because this one is still kind of big in itself. It's still kind of a big one and there are some that are smaller than this and I've seen people working with it but um, but with that one I feel like I can put it in my purse and it's not too bulky or whatever but, but I'm going in the store I'll take it and put it out on the seat or something like that but I am able to carry it around so if I need to flip through I can if I need to carry it in work if something comes up that I need to make sure I write down I can, so yeah. Oh man, that's the charge nurse. That made me think. I think I got a charge nurse workshop today. At, no, it's tomorrow at 5 o'clock. I ain't studying going to that. <laughs> Y'all have to forgive me. I'm like, oh my God. That means we got to walk over to the hospital. Because I work in a building on the outskirts of the hospital. And it's going to be cold. I get one more dollar an hour for the headache. I was like, y'all really think y'all, I thank God for that dollar, that extra dollar an hour. Lord, please forgive me. Because here I go complaining. But sometimes they stretch you so bad that it's like, this dollar ain't worth it. I'll, I'll pay you the dollar. <laughs> I'll give you a dollar. I'll give you the dollar back if you just take this hour of stress away from me. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to quit being silly. I'm going to get off here for now because I have rambled about much of nothing. And yeah, I just need to look through and revamp my channel and try to come up with some topics that you got. I hope I don't bore you guys to death. I know there's still a faithful few who do come and watch. So thank you for coming. So anyway, as always, do what? Remember to give God some praise, give him some thanks for waking up this morning, starting you on your way, giving you another chance to get it right. It's always a blessing to be able to get it right. It's a new day, a new chance, a new hour, a new minute, a new second to get it right. I will talk with you guys later. Bye.